Hi, this is Brian. Welcome back to another Optimize Plus One. In our last Plus One, we did some detective work and discovered that sugar is often disguised with 61 different names. Note, the one name that the clever food marketers, ahem, don't use is the one they probably should. Candy for cancer cells. Imagine that. You get a food label. Oh, candy for depression. Candy for cancer cells. Probably wouldn't buy that, huh? Now, I promised we'd do some math today, so let's get to it. First, let's note the fact that one pound of sugar is 454 grams of sugar. Thank you, Mr. Google, again. Now, if the average person consumes 150 pounds a year, that's roughly 0.41 pounds per day or 185 grams of sugar per day. Note number one. 500 years ago, when we were consuming only five pounds of sugar per day, that was, if my math is correct, 0.14 pounds per day or 6.35 grams per day. Note two, 1,000 years ago, when we consumed roughly zero pounds of sugar per day, that was, if my math is correct, 0.0 pounds per day or around 0.0 grams per day. So, let's see how fast it all adds up. A can of Coke equals, what would you guess? 44 grams. Oh, wait, you're going for the healthy juice alternative, right? Let's say you grab an Odwalla lemonade, pure squeezed, all natural. According to Calorie King, you just got 41 grams of sugar, almost exactly the same as a can of Coke. Or maybe you're giving your kids healthy fruit juice. Oops. That apple juice has 37 grams of sugar. And very importantly, as this site points out, so I quote them, if a child has apple juice with breakfast, low fat chocolate milk with lunch, a sports drink after school and lemon lime soda for dinner, they could consume 130 grams of sugar in drinks alone. That's more than five times what pediatricians recommend for a child's total daily sugar intake. Eek. All caps. 130 grams that fast? Oh my not goodness. We'd only need 55 more grams of sugar in all the rest of our food to hit the 185 gram daily threshold that'll lead to the 150 pounds of sugar that leads to chronic not awesomeness. Yeah, it adds up fast. Obviously donuts and candy bars and cookies have a ton of sugar. But so does yogurt and salad dressing and ketchup and pasta sauce. And, well, pretty much everything that was made in a factory that you're eating out of a jar or a box. Which is yet another reason why Michael Pollan tells us, if it came from a plant, eat it. If it was made in a plant, don't. And that's today's plus one. How's your sugar math? Time for some minus ones?